Hey, what is going on, everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here, and welcome back to another tutorial where today we will be working on and continuing work on our Petership and Peter Built dealership. Try to combine the two words. Um, as you can see, I've made a lot of progress off camera on the one that I am building for my reference, and then I have our build right over there. And before I forget, um, <clears throat> a change that I made off camera was to accommodate for uh, garage doors in the back. I scooted this part over one block. So this is the back warehouse area, the storage garages, whatever. Right here where it um, comes across the wall where we have the windows where it turns back in we are going to extend that out by one more this whole wall so go ahead and wreck all of these in that row and then you can wreck this edge right here just like that and then with our white glazed terracotta remember from the inside we are placing it facing the uh, block from the inside of the building and then we are placing the sideways um, terracotta sideways just like that so it all lines up perfectly now what we are going to do is rise it up actually no I don't want to do that step yet what we are going to do first is <clears throat> oh shoot maybe I should have prepared for this better all right, I'm going to have to do some stuff off camera, but I just wanted to uh, take care of that real quick while I was thinking about it. So, as you can see, I've made a lot of progress. I've added in some parking lots as well as some more landscaping that goes around. And then this would be a main road that or a uh, maybe like a secondary road that goes past the dealership onto a main road. And here in the back, I added doors. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys the back, but this is how it looks. <clears throat> and we are going to be doing... So my plan for today is to do the warehouse area with the roof, as well as this out cove. Um, I do want to... Um, I, well, I was going to do this last episode, so I think we're going to start with that. And then if we have some extra time, which I imagine we will, assuming um, if I speed everything up, I'm sure we'll have plenty of time. We can start working on the parking lots, um, specifically the one for the front. And if we have some time, we can start working towards the back. So... Without further ado, let's go over the materials for today. So, you will need white glazed terracotta, um, cyan concrete, uh, quartz blocks, stone, white wool, white concrete, stone slabs, yellow stained glass, and acacia trap doors. We will need a few more materials, I think. Um, maybe not, depending on where we get today, but this should uh, give us a good start. So the very first thing we are going to do is count this out real quick. Um, we are going to place... Alright. Okay, I got it. No, I don't. And now I do. What is that? Quartz. Okay. Okay. We are going to go to the front right part of the building, <clears throat> and then one block down, take our cyan concrete, and this is one block beneath the top of the building, and we are just going to fill this in. So, I'm, I'm not going to do the whole thing right now, and... I wouldn't recommend for you guys to do it unless you know how to use the fill commands or world edit because I will show you how to do that here in a second but just fill this out um, maybe three blocks deep 
across that whole row. And then here in the front, leave a two block gap on the third block up against the white glazed terracotta, place a quartz block, and then leave a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight block gap on the ninth block, place a quartz block, and then uh, same thing again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the ninth block, and that gives us four. Let me check this real quick. All right, we are perfect on that. So next, take your um, white glazed terracotta, and two blocks back on the third block, on the third block, place two white glazed terracotta on top of each other. Extend it in towards the building by two blocks, so now we have three. And then this is going to be 23 in total. So we are going to place 20 on this side of the wall. So one, two, three, four, five, right? Yep. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we are going to go back and fill this in on the top as well, just like that. <clears throat> I think what I did was, uh, yes, okay, I did go vertical on this side as well. So we're going to have that weird horizontal, the weird horizontal lines there for um, the corner, but I think that'll be all right. If it's not, you can go sideways right here. All right, so we are going to go... 20 is it 21 I want to say it's 21 but I can't be sure let me check real quick okay so it is 21 so we are going to carry this over by 21 so we already have two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and now we are going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. All right. Um, you don't have to count that out. I mean, you probably already did, but if you don't, if you haven't built that already, you don't have to count it out. I was just double checking. Extend it all the way back to this wall. So now we have this square. And then once you're back to the wall, bring it in by two more. And then you could imagine what we're going to do next. We are going to connect these across. So no need to count out this one. <clears throat> we are just going to connect them and they should line up perfectly. Now we can go around and do the top half of these rows. Just like this. And the quartz blocks that we placed down, those are just to um, add detail if you're looking from the roof. It kind of looks like it's supporting this outcove um, when it's on the roof out here. Okay, now here is how to use the fill command. Assuming that you are in 1.13, I think 1.13 is where they changed commands. Yeah, that sounds right. All right, so if you're in 1.13 or above, which is what this texture pack is, so I imagine you would be, <clears throat> what you do is we're going to do this with cyan concrete. Place a block in two of the corners within this square. It doesn't matter which two as long as they're two opposite corners and they're within this square on the lower half. Then make sure that you are facing one of these blocks if you hit f3 oh it's sorry that stuff in the bottom is because i have optifine <clears throat> if you look at where is it where is it where is it um ah so if you look at the middle chunk of text where it's um on the left side of the screen that middle chunk with my coordinates block chunk all that stuff down at the bottom, the uh, third line up, you will see looking at block. And what this is, is where you are facing. So that would be um, this block. And we can confirm that that is the block. Um, basically, that that's what it means to face this block. It doesn't mean like 
oh you can see it facing it is looking directly at it then you're going to type slash fill hit space and then hit tab three times or as an alternative you can hit tab or no you don't have to hit tab at all you can hover over this with your cursor and tap it and then all we are going to do is hit enter now we are going to fly over to the opposite corner and then we are going to hover over this and then slash and then we are going to hit our up arrow on our arrow keys to take us to the previous command we are going to hit space again and then we you can either hit tab the three times or click on these three sets of numbers that's how you know that you have all three coordinates if you don't it'll be red but if you have it it'll be a different color and then you get all of these to choose from now you can scroll down to find cyan concrete or you can type in cyan here it is click that and hit enter and just like that we have successfully filled 397 blocks with our um, cyan concrete and this is going to be very helpful especially once we get building parking lots doing the floors in here and doing the roof above the buildings all right now that we have that now that you guys know how to do that <clears throat> take out your quartz and on the uh, outside corners of the cyan concrete right beneath them place quartz pillars that go all the way down to the ground except for the very bottom block that one is going to be stone <clears throat> so again over here bring that pillar all the way down on that very bottom block place stone then we are going to leave a one two three four five six seven eight block gap on the ninth block which should be the middle block i'm gonna count this just to make sure one two three four five six seven eight perfect we're gonna place another pillar on that middle block same ones that we have done before with the stone on the bottom <clears throat> great now let's see okay yeah all right let's fill in in between these pillars with white wool just wreck the grass and place some lines of white wool it looks weird right now but once we get our um pavement in it'll all look just fine as you can see over there okay so that is the outgove next we are going to move on to the warehouse okay so what we are going to do to get started on the warehouse is mark out where our garage doors are going to be and to do that we want to go to the back of the building and starting from either side it doesn't matter leave a three block gap and on the fourth block wreck it and then wreck four more after that one two three four then leave a four block gap and then on the fifth block wreck five so we have three on the very edges let me show you what that looks like on this side as well go in from the outside wall by one two three on the fourth block wreck it and make a gap of five then after this we are just leaving four block spaces and wrecking five blocks um, again one two three four and then wreck one two three four five <clears throat> and then last one one two three four five assuming you have done it correctly all of these in the middle should be four blocks now we can raise this up by 11 in total. So we already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we are going to raise this up all the way around 11 blocks high on every side, all four sides. Not where the garage doors are, but on these walls in between them they are all going to be 11 blocks high 
So let me do that real quick off camera and then I will show you guys what that looks like when I am finished. Okay, this is what it is going to look like once you are finished. I was thinking about how we may or may not need this wall right here, but then I realized that we do because it sticks up higher. Um, maybe you don't need the wall here at the bottom, but if you wanna, if you're gonna do interiors, I think I'm going to do that. You might wanna have this wall because I will definitely have like stuff up against it and treat it like an actual wall. I may wreck some large portions of it, but I'm not gonna wreck the whole thing. So let's do, let's build the garage doors. And to do this, we are going to use white wool <clears throat> and we are going to go back in one block. And then we are going to place a row of five white wool, just like that five more white wool and then a row of yellow stained glass and then four more rows of white wool so one nope that is quartz <clears throat> one two three four so the door is seven blocks in total and now we can make the uh, wall across the top <clears throat> just like that and then fill it in to the very top so this is how the garage doors look except for one more thing on the side blocks going up place acacia trap doors it doesn't matter how or where and then well it, make sure that they're up against the side when you close them so you don't want to place them like that place them on this wall right here and then close the doors just like that <clears throat> and we have a very subtle faint border but it just adds a lot to it I think all right we are going to do that one two three four five more times I'm gonna do it off camera because it's kind of a waste of time if I don't go back and watch that part one more time if you're still confused and then I will show you what it looks like here in a second Okay, this is how it should look once you are finished with that. Um, again, just like the one I had uh, shown you earlier, and I love the way this looks. We are going to fill in the uh, road, the pavement, a little bit later, but for now, we have our garage doors, we have the warehouse walls up. Let's go ahead and do the wall on the main building, and we are going to use the fill command again. So. If you feel comfortable enough using that, uh, go ahead and do it. Um, I'm actually going to do it from this corner, right back here, right here. Remember, we are one block down from that top wall. And then we are going to do slash fill, and then select the three coordinates, and then hit enter. And then we are going to fly over here since I already have blocks I don't need to place another one so I can face this block and then do slash fill again hit the up arrow rather select the coordinates and here's something I like to do before I type in cyan concrete and hit enter I'm gonna hit enter here and then fly up and make sure that it won't wreck anything because unlike world edit there is no undo with the fill command so you want to be very careful make sure you get your coordinates right make sure there's nothing in the way so once we look good now we can go ahead and type in cyan concrete and hit enter bam all right now I did fill this around I believe um, let me see how far back that goes one two three four five six seven okay so we are done with our yellow stained glass so take out some light gray glazed terracotta and we already have four blocks on the side we're we're going to make it seven so um, you can wreck these, get them out of the way. Um, that one we need, so let me put that back. So we're at four, five, 
six, seven. And then we can wreck all of these because we're going to have a heightened ceiling in here. And on this side again, f five, six, seven. And then extend these up to the height of that level. And let's do that on this side. There we go. And then here in the back as well. So let me fill this in across here. Perfect. And then we are going to rise it up. All right. And then once we've done that, we're going to do that ceiling again with cyan concrete. One block below the top roof, just like this. And once we have finished that, we only have one roof left to do. And that is the roof of the warehouse here in the back. Now, before we get started on this, I want to... Well, first of all, it's going to be dark in here. If you don't want monsters spawning, turn it to peaceful, or play some lights or whatever. It's already super dark in there. Probably should have given you guys that warning. Um, yeah, you can see bats spawning everywhere. Oh, it's so annoying. Anyway, the, um, the roof is made out of stone slabs. And to do that, we are going to start... Let's see, there's a certain pattern that I have, but I can't remember what it is. I think we leave a three-block gap and then place the next. So it would be three... One, two, three. Yes, okay. So, go over to the roof, pick a side, and we are going to make sure that we're placing our white glazed terracotta sideways. Go three blocks in on the fourth block, extend it, nope, and placed it from the other side. All right, so same thing here. Three blocks in on the fourth block, extend it, all the way until you are three blocks away from the wall on the other side. We're going to do that again. So on the fourth block going in all the way until we have three blocks left. And one more time. One, two, three on the fourth block. This one is a little bit shorter. And um, that's how it looks from the side. So let's do the other side. So again, three blocks in on that fourth block. Am I placing... Okay, yep. On that fourth block, we're going to build that out. And then, again. And one more time. I don't know what my chunks are doing. I apologize for that. <clears throat> okay. Now, we are going to make a stone slab pattern all the way to the top. Starting here on the the uh, edge block, we are going to place a row of stone slabs across the upper half of that block, all the way across. So from one end to the other, just like this. And the roof actually didn't take me that long. It went pretty fast. Extend it out by one block extra on each end because there will be a one block overhang. Now, on these blocks going up, we are going to place three slabs going across on every single one. On the top one, we have the six, obviously, and then three more. On the corner blocks where it goes up, place another slab, just like that. Let me back up so you guys can see that. Okay, now, we are going to do that overhang again here on the bottom and extend this all the way across. And then after we do this, um, it's really just a lot of rows back and forth. Make sure it extends out over that wall by one. So all of these are going to come out by one every single time. Once you get here, Place it on the upper slab. So upper slab again. And then that upper slab. Two, one, two, one, two. And then we have that right there. Now at every corner where it goes down diagonally. 
place another slab to connect it just like that all right I'll pause there for a second and let's head on over here so we are just filling in beneath it just like that all right now we are going to we're going to do that exact same thing on this side I'm going to do it quickly but I'll still show you guys so we have the three stone slabs on every single um, white glazed terracotta up here and then on those corners place the full block make it a full block and then remember we are extending out once we get to that full block do it on the upper half and then we are filling in the corners where it's diagonal to make it so it's all touching each other just like that now we are going to go back and forth over and over filling in all of these rows as you could imagine I am definitely going to do this off camera but once I'm finished I will show you guys how it looks I think it took me probably about 10 minutes at the max it's not that long if you get yourself lined up with it and then just go back um, just like that I'm just tapping the S key every now and then and holding the um, place button okay so I'm gonna do that a bunch more times and on these you can just place it like that it doesn't have to be connected because nobody is really gonna see it <clears throat> all right I'm gonna do that real quick and once I finish I will show you guys how it looks okay I have finished the roof uh, it it honestly didn't take that long it's just very repetitive obviously so now that we have done that let's add some color to this so go ahead and take out some red wool and go to the dark gray part here on the front that roof area and in that very middle block wreck it and then make a plus shape and then extend the plus sideways by two and then just wreck those blocks to make it a rectangle so it's five wide three high in the middle just like that and after that I think we can go ahead and fill this so let me count out some stuff real quick and then we can do that okay so the first thing we're going to do is go to the left side this front corner right here the left side of the building and get yourself lined up with the wall where the two windows intercept right there and then count out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight I'm gonna put a block there just to mark it and then we are going to go forward one two three four put a blo block there to mark that <clears throat> uh, you can wreck that block for now so we are 28 blocks out and then four blocks to the front now you can uh, leave that block I'm actually gonna surround it so I don't lose it just in case and then on that block we're gonna do the slash fill command so slash fill <clears throat> and then enter those coordinates and now I'm gonna leave that there just for uh, safe measures let me count out actually we shouldn't need to well you know what we might need to count it out I know that it sticks out 21 so all right that's four hang on uh, one sec all right so head to the um, overhang this uh, roof here and then going towards the front of the building with our white wool we are going to extend this line past this pillar by one two three four and the road on this side which is made of white concrete is three wide so one two three out from that pillar and this is the um, total width 
of the shop pretty much other than some landscaping on this side if I so desire and um, this is where the edge of the parking lot is going to be so let me count this really quick alright so get yourself lined up with that road that goes along here and then from this corner right here we are going to count out 23 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. On that 23rd block, that is where the second coordinate for our fill command is. And we are going to fill all of this with white concrete. So that's how it looks. <clears throat> So again, we have 21 here. This road is 21, I believe. Let me count this real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yes, so that road is 21 wide. And then, um, okay, you know what? Rewind the video if you need the measurement for that one. I'm pretty sure it is 28 blocks out from that wall right there. Okay, so we can go ahead and wreck that now. And in front of the pavement, we are going to do a solid white line with wool. So just one single block long, <clears throat> but along the length of the road I'm gonna use the fill command for this as well white wool here it is got it alright now we are going to make the parking spots and these are going to start on the very edge and we are going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 in total. That's how long each spot is. And then we are going to leave a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 block gap and do it again. And then um, 5 block gap again. And then 14 blocks out, you can just line it up. I'm going to do that all the way to the end. It should line up perfectly down there. If it doesn't, well, just modify your road as needed. All right, let me show you guys another trick real quick with the fill command. So you see how I have all these spots for the lines marked out, but I don't want to go back and fill them all in by hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that region by doing slash fill and then entering the coordinates. And then the region is everything in between two points. And then I'm going to go there. And then I'm going to do white wool because that's what I want to fill with. And then I'm going to replace the air with white wool, just like that. And boom, easy peasy. I have all those lines filled in. Save me probably about five or ten minutes okay maybe not ten maybe okay maybe not five either save me a couple minutes all right we are ready to move how long is this video I oops did I just yep I think I've might, might have okay yep I did all right this video okay we are up to 57 minutes minus all the time that I'm going to cut out Let's finish up a few more things real quick, and then we can call it good for today. So what we are going to do around the building, around the entire building except for the very back, is take our cyan concrete. Oh, I, oops. We're going to take our cyan concrete and do a single layer of cyan concrete all the way around the building like this. Um, you see I'm just outlining it basically and we're not going to do this in front of the garage doors that's the only place that we are not doing um, the cyan it is going to be used as the floor inside so if you guys want to do that 
as you wait for the next video, whether you have the fill command or world edit, or if you're on one point. Oh shoot! I is it? They I know it's somewhat recent. I don't even know if one point eight has the fill command. I know that one point seven doesn't. But if one point eight doesn't, well, you're gonna have to do it by hand. But you should have some time before the next episode comes around. But as you can see, I'm just going around, replacing all of this with all of the grass with cyan. And then again, the floor, I'm going to stop one block short of the garage, just like that. And then um, the floor on the inside, cyan as well. All right. Oops. I didn't mean to switch hands there. All right, so next episode, we will most likely be finishing up the uh, parking lot and putting in some landscaping just like that. And then depending on where we get, the episode, or yeah, the episode after that will most likely be the interior. All right, but we aren't quite done yet. Um, we're going to fill in right here with white concrete. So I'm going to do the fill command. I want to make sure that I'm not lined up with the white wall. Otherwise, when I go to do it, it's going to fill the white wall with white concrete. And then I'm going to line up over here, but fly to the other side, line up with this white uh, or cyan concrete. And then we can just do white concrete. Let me show you guys how that looks. So that's that's what it looks like. Um, with the white concrete and then you can bring this out and around this is actually five white wool right here so one two three four five it lines up with the building and then we have the rest of our road which we can also fill just like this with some white concrete let me get that part too all right, and then I'm going to do these two front parts. You know what I can actually do instead is use the fill command, but just go all the way back here. I could even go all the way to the edge and then slash fill white concrete replace grass block. And that way, the cyan concrete stays there, but the grass block went away. All right, so I hope this part all made sense. I don't really want to count out how many parking spaces there are, but you can count the video and count yourself to make sure that you are lined up correctly. Um, I think that area, yes, this area all right here is also supposed to be white concrete. And I know that if I do the replace command, it will replace grass on the inside, but that's okay. I can fix that up later. So I'm going to do the fill command right here, slash fill, type in those coordinates. As you can see, I'm lined up here and with the pavement up there. And then I'm going to fly all the way over here to this corner, do that up arrow, and then white concrete replace grass block there there it is all right and that you know what let's do the back as well real quick um, I mean we're already doing it let's just finish up the road so the back sticks out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in total. So we can go to the back now, or actually start from, well, which side is, I think they both, oh, well, I'll start from this side then. So this is actually supposed to go around, keep wrapping around to the garage, so let me do that. Uh, it's the uh, cyan concrete right here that I'm using. Perfect. And then from here, slash fill, type in those coordinates. And then we can go all the way over here to this corner 
and then there's the garage doors and then I'm gonna count out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and fill to here with um, white concrete um, yes replace make sure you do replace otherwise it's gonna fill everything grass block and just like that we have the pavement down I'm gonna do the floor inside off camera um, not in an episode or anything this is where we're at we have all the pavement down it looks fantastic um, again next episode parking lots and some landscaping and that should give us plenty of time to do interiors next episode after that so guys if you did enjoy this video and you do want to see more just like it please hit the thumbs up button it really helps me out <clears throat> let me know in the comments if you have any requests um, thank you manual queller for this request I really appreciate it again we should be done in the next couple episodes so subscribe so you don't miss out as soon as I upload this video there are the next videos and check out the description I have some important stuff down there you can contact me at contact optimistic gamer at gmail.com my Twitter is at optimistic GMR and my website is optimistic gamer .com. you can also check out my Lego YouTube channel Lego knowledge head on over there and subscribe if you are interested <clears throat> the texture pack link is also down in, in the description however it does require Optifine so I left a video link for how to download Optifine it's a super helpful video it's not mine but I really like that video um, one last thing wait do I have one last thing no I don't oh yes I do one last thing I have a survey that is still open you can go fill out that survey it is completely anonymous give me feedback let me know what you think of the channel answer a few other questions because I am definitely taking into consideration all the feedback that I get <sighs> I'm glad to be done the main building part is done that is the most difficult part now we can sit back relax and enjoy the rest of the ride on this tutorial I have got a couple more requests come in for um, truck dealerships I don't want to overload the channel with trucks or truck dealerships big builds like this I'll do some house tutorials and small stuff every other day or so but stuff like this it takes a really long time so I'm only gonna do these once every couple weeks unless they become extremely popular but again guys um, that's gonna do it for me comment rate subscribe remember to stay optimistic and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching everybody bye